one atom single bonded to it so these two are highly electronegative groups and uh, since these two are so electronegative both of them will pull electrons towards themselves so the oxygen will pull electrons towards it the chlorine will pull electrons towards it so since both of these are pulling electrons away from the acyl carbon this leaves the acyl carbon with a highly partial high with a high partial positive charge which is a delta plus charge these two have a high negative charge a high partial negative charge because they are withdrawing electrons from the carbon and this is left with a high partial positive charge so this molecule this group is very polar and because the carbon atom has a high partial positive charge it is very susceptible to attacks by nucleophiles uh, what are nucleophiles nucleophiles are compounds that are hungry for uh, protons for for positive charge because they have a lot of electrons already so they, they are hungry for a positive charge and therefore they will attack the, this carbon atom is very susceptible to attack by nucleophiles which makes it very reactive so let's do some reactions of acyl chlorides so first let's do the formation of acyl chlorides now uh, to form uh, acyl chlorides we need to react a carboxylic acid with a chlorine containing substance so we commonly use pcl5 or pcl3 or socl2 so uh, my favorite is pcl5 because it does not require any specific conditions so when i, I can leave the conditions column empty for this because uh, uh, whenever i write pcl5 because i do not need any conditions it will react readily so when i react uh, the uh, so i have propanoic acid over here when i react propanoic acid with pcl5 i get propanoyl chloride uh, the naming again propanoyl chloride along with pocl3 along with hydrogen chloride hcl so i can get this i get propanoyl chloride in each case i get propanoyl chloride so i'm just writing it once the name uh, it's very important to learn how to name these compounds propanoyl chloride then when we react with pcl3 we need to give some heat uh, so i don't really like this because i have to learn an extra condition so we give heat and we get uh, uh, propanoyl chloride again with h3po3 uh, so you have to learn the equation so if you are learning it for pcl5 then you have to learn all the products so in this case the products we have to learn propanoyl chloride pocl3 and hcl or whatever acid is used you have to learn so if it was ethanoic acid i would get ethanoyl chloride if uh, it was butanoic acid i would i would get butanoyl chloride so you have to learn it accordingly and but you have to learn the side products which are pocl3 and hcl in this case the side product is h3po3 and when we react with socl2 and again no conditions we get so2 and hcl as the side products so uh, the third reaction has the highest yield because so2 and hcl both are gases so they will escape from the reaction mixture they will escape into the air so the only thing i will be left with is the acyl chloride so this reaction gives me the highest yield for the acyl chloride because it is very pure the percentage purity will be very high because the the, the side products will be leaving i don't have to separate it so with from anything it will be in its pure state the acyl chloride so this is the formation so reactions of acyl chlorides are condensation reactions what are condensation reactions a condensation reaction is one in which a small molecule is eliminated as two molecules combine so for example the formation of esters as we as we were taught in our as levels the formation of esters were uh, was a condensation reaction because a water molecule is eliminated as an alcohol and a carboxylic acid combine so they are condensation reactions and uh, these reactions follow the nucleophilic substitution mechanism so nucleophilic substitution and again we learned this in uh, our as levels uh and now we are going to look at these reactions so 
reactions of acyl fluoride with acyl fluorides with water and ammonia now when we react acyl fluorides with water we get the carboxylic acid back